What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Big Boy Fashion on TV. And tonight, I'll go on my WWE SmackDown review on Highlight. So, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys please hit that subscribe button. Turn on post notifications to get notified when I premiere a brand new video or go live on YouTube. Follow my socials, my Instagram, TikTok, and Twitch. And this going down below in the description. Let's talk about SmackDown. Now, WWE SmackDown was a 4 out of 10. And that's all I got to say. Um, SmackDown kicks off with Highlight of the Elimination Chamber main event. We also see clips of Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens in the ring from Raw. Caleb Braxton, Caleb Braxton is backstage, and in comes Jimmy Uso, who enters the arena. She asks about the bloodline. He tells her he had he has not spoken to Jay Uso since the Elimination Chamber. He texts him, called him, and told him he can meet him in the middle of the ring later tonight. And he could look at look him in the look him in the face and tell him what he has to say. Okay, so we get Braun Strowman, Ricochet, and Madcap Moss versus the Imperium. Um, this was a um, I might as well just say this was a pretty good six man tag match. This was pretty good for what it was. The bell rings. We are underway. Madcap and Vinci start the match. A running shoulder tackle by Madcap. Ricochet is tagging. Ricochet with a standing shooting star. He goes for the cover, but Vinci kicks out. Ricochet goes for the tag, but Vinci with a clothesline. Mas uh, Caster is tagging. He throws Ricochet to the ropes, but a chop to the throat by Caster. He chops Strowman, who is on the ring apron, and, and that distracts the referee as the Imperial Triple Team Ricochet. So we go to commercial break. Back from commercial. Yeah, back from commercial. Caster with a clothesline in the middle of the ring. Onto Ricochet. He goes for the cover, but Ricochet kicks out. Gunther is tagged into the match. A European uppercut by, Gun by Gunther as Drew McIntyre slowly walks down. Vinci is tagged in. A close on onto Ricochet. He goes for another close line, but Ricochet ducks and Strowman is tagged in. Strowman runs through Castle and VC. Um, and in comes Gunther in a chop by Gunther onto Strowman, but Strowman remains standing. Gunther with a headlock, but Strowman gets out of it. A drop kick by Gunther, but Madcap is tagged in. Madcap with a spear in the corner and, and right hands. He runs to the ropes, but Caster distracts Madcap and Gunther with a chop. Gunther with the power bomb. He goes for the cover and gets the pin. The winner of the match, Imperium. This was a pretty good match. Pretty good six-man tag match. The Viking Raiders attack Drew McIntyre from behind on the ramp. They throw him into the barricade, and out comes Sheamus, who, who attacks the Viking Raiders. He pushed Eric into the ring apron, but Ivar with a clothesline. Strowman with the Strowman Express onto the Viking Raiders. Ricochet runs, runs, runs and, and flies over the top rope onto the Viking Raiders. Drew McIntyre and Sheamus look, yeah, Drew McIntyre and Sheamus with kicks onto the Viking Raiders and they go over the barricade. We cut backstage and Kayla Braxton is backstage with Rey Mysterio. He says tonight he will put an end to Karen Cross. In comes Santos Escobar. He tells Ray that there is one thing that he and his family value, and, and that is respect. He he says he had to the honor of receiving a mask from the legendary Ray Mysterio, and he wants to show the WWE Universe how much respect Ray Ray Mysterio. He tells Ray Mysterio that he won his respect, as Ray Mysterio tells him it's a mutual feeling. In comes Dominic Mysterio and Rhea Ripley. He asks Santos, as Santos, ask about how much he is doing, how much he is going to keep kissing Rey Mysterio's. You know what? Santos tells him if he need to be t taught him respect, he will show him. Dominic tell Dominic Mysterio tells him that in prison, those who didn't back up, they say they say got dealt with. Dominic Mysterio and Rhea Ripley walk away. How many times we gotta keep hearing about Dominic Mysterio and Dominic Dominic Mysterio, Dominic Mysterio being in prison? How many times we gotta keep hearing that? How many times he keeps saying that? More than three times. But anyway, 
Let me continue. Santos has Gamar tells Rey Mysterio not to let it bother him. But Rey Mysterio tells him that's his son. So we go to commercial break. Jimmy's Jimmy Uso, Soul Sequoia, and Paul Hammer are backstage. Jimmy Uso tells him since the Royal Rumble, things have been crazy with the bloodline. But since Montreal, things are different. Jimmy Uso says Jay Uso might be spoken over Sami Zayn. Paul Heyman tells Jimmy Uso if that is the case, so Sokoya can stay backstage with him, and Jimmy Uso can handle Jay Uso in the ring, man to man, brother to brother, twin to twin. Jimmy Jimmy Uso agrees. So we go to commercial break. Um, L.A. Knight walks down to the ring. He tells the fans, "Let me talk to you," and that it is the season. Everyone is talking about their WrestleMania 39 moment. Um, L.A. Knight says he didn't come come for a WrestleMania moment. He come he came to make money, win titles, and be recognized as being the best, which is cap by the way. And that is that is by going to WrestleMania 39. But the twist is that he is not the one who will be having a WrestleMania 39 moment. You can't have an L.A. WrestleMania without L.A. Knight. Um, what, what that means is that he is going to give rest, give resume, resume in LA moment. Out comes the new day. Kofi makes, makes fun of LA night. He says that he has only been on the roster for two and a half months. Who is he to be demanding anything? LA night says he doesn't recall inviting the nerd, the, the new day put here. If if they were not so busy playing their video games, that w- they would realize that they are looking at the mega star L.A. Knight. Wills tells them tells him that being a nerd has made them a lot of money. Wills tells him WrestleMania moments are not handed out; they are earned, which is facts. In case in case in point is Kofi Kingston. LA Knight tells him that he doesn't care about their path. He is a creator of cur- cur- circumstances. He asks Kofi how they, how 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 that Kofi Mania thing worked out for him. The new day get in the ring. Um, Kofi says it worked it worked out pretty well. He won the title, and and he and he was not waiting. For a resume moment, but what he will not wait for is is the chance to shut him up, to shut him up tonight. La Knight laughs and asks the fan chant, "New Day rocks." He asks Kofi if that is a challenge. Xavier Woods tells Adam Pierce if he can hear him and he approve it, and to send a referee out. A referee runs to the ring. Commercial break. So we get La Knight versus. Yeah, LA Knight versus Kofi Kingston and coming by Xavier Woods. Um these two put on the classic but at the same time the match was too long. Okay, back from the commercial and the match is already underway. LA Knight with a shoulder tackle. He runs to the ropes, but Kofi with a spinning back elbow, he goes for the cover, but LA Knight kicks out. Kofi climbs the second rope in a and and a splash on to LA Knight. He goes for the cover, but another but another kick out. Kofi climbs the top rope and in a crossbody he goes for the cover. But LA Knight kicks out. Kofi with an arm bar, but LA Knight with with a back elbow to the face. A spinning back elbow to the face onto Kofi. LA Knight with with a with kicks onto Kofi. Right hands by LA Knight, followed by a body slam. Uh, he goes for the cover, but Kofi kicks out. LA Knight goes for a neck breaker, but Kofi, Kofi hangs on onto the ropes. Kofi with a splash in the corner. Kofi goes for another splash, but LA Knight catches him and slams him face to, face first to the top turnbuckle. Commercial break. Um, back from the commercial, LA Knight throws Kofi to the outside of the ring. As every Woods check checks on Kofi Kingston as LA Knight pushes Woods. He tells Woods to hit him. LA Knight grabs um Kofi and throws him back into the ring. LA Knight tells Woods he could be next. 
A two for one special. LA Knight um gets in the ring and gets in the ring and uh, with Kofi under the bottom rope. He ca- he catapults Kofi into the bottom rope. LA Knight with a knee to the face. LA Knight on the ring apron as as he jumps over the top rope and hits Kofi with a flying shoulder tackle. He goes for the cover but but, but kicks but Kofi kicks out. LA Knight with kicks to the face. He runs towards Kofi, but Kofi hits him with a knee to the face. Kofi with a right hand. Kofi with a heel kick. He rolls LA Knight up, but LA Knight kicks him. I mean, kicks out, sorry. Um, Kofi with a splash onto LA Knight. Kofi goes for trouble in paradise, but LA Knight ducks him, ducks and slams Kofi onto the mat. He goes for the cover, but Kofi kicks out. Um, LA Knight rolls to the outside and attacks Xerios from behind, who has playing play, play the trombone. Kofi with a splash over the top rope onto LA Knight. He throws LA Knight back into the ring. Kofi climbs the top rope, but a right hand by LA Knight. He runs towards Kofi, but Kofi ducks and Xerios Woods plays the trombone and distracts LA, LA Knight. Kofi hits him with trouble in paradise. He goes for the cover and gets the pin. The winner of the match, Kofi Kingston. Now this match, Kofi, this match was too long, but at the same time, Kofi and LA Knight put on a classic. Um, commercial break. Out comes Charlotte Flair to the ring. Says thirty five days until WrestleMania. She knows that Rhea Ripley likes to run her mouth on Raw. She can't. She can't wait to hear what she has to say. To her face, she calls Rhea Ripley out to the ring. Rhea Rhea Ripley doesn't come out, and Charlotte Flair says she thinks she smells hesitation. Charlotte Flair asks if she is reminding, remembering the last time they were in the ring together. Dominic Mysterio walks out and calling him, calling her Queen Queenie. He says he will not let her run down mommy. Charlotte Flair tells him. He is out here taking orders like a good little, good little Nino. He asks, he asks, this is, he, he asks, he says this, she says, she says this is adult time, and and he should go 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 get mommy instead of her hiding behind her little boy toy. Um, he said. He says she sounds jealous, almost bitter because she knows that the hottest thing in WWE right now is Ray Ripley, bloody, bloody Ripley, and no other Mama Sita has ever entered the World Rumble at number one and won it all. Charlotte Flair smiles, trying not to laugh. Um, he tells Charlotte Flair, Charlotte Flair, she should smile more often. She is a beautiful woman. He says the woman is so soft, softer sex, de- delicate, but my m- mommy is strong. She is a real strong. Um, when she hugs him, she breaks his back. And sh- and when she makes makes sweet chocolate, breaks him up. He, he says he has a real Latino mo- man at home who calls her mommy with a, with a much thicker accent. She doesn't know know that know what he he is talking about. Dominic Mysterio says he just wanted to chat because they have a lot in common. They are both generation generational WWE superstars. She is second generation. He is third generation. They both know what it is like to be captured to their fathers. Be better than them. Surprise to pass them. Even though the fans don't like to see it, but he knows that his dad has a lot worse. His dad was a deadbeat. He didn't even bother um showing up. He was in afterthought of a father, and that messed him up. He says, and that he says that put a big ch- big chip on his shoulder, just like her. But rest, but at resume thirty nine, when mommy beats her, she would know. That her dad was right. Um, she just not good enough. Charlotte Flair says, unlike him, she loves her dad, and he is seventy four tomorrow. 
as she wishes him a early happy birthday. And she still go she still could go. Um if he was here if he was here, he'll he will kick his butts. But since he is not here, Charlotte Flair drops the microphone and goes face to face with him. Uh Rhea Ripley music hits. Rhea Ripley go goes face to face with Charlotte Flair as she and Dominic Mysterio slowly backs away and leaves the ring. Charlotte Flair lifts her WWE SmackDown Women's Cha- Women's Champion, and Rhea Ripley gets back in the ring. They go face to face as Dominic holds Rhea Ripley back. Like I said, um, did y'all see Dominic Mysterio was flirting with Charlotte Flair? Now, Kendrick, I know you're watching this video. Can you imagine Andrade watching that watching SmackDown tonight? What would Andrade What would Andrade do if Dominic Mysterio was flirting with Charlotte Flair? Tell me, tell me in the comment section. Anyway, let's move on. So we get Natalia with Tegan, accompanied by Tegan Knox versus Shayna Baszler, accompanied by Ronda Rousey. Um, this match I did not really care about. The the bell rings. We are underway. Right hand by Natalia as Shayna Baszler rolls to the ring apron. Natalia grabs her and throws her back into the ring. Shayna grabs Natalia by the arm and slams her onto the mat. Shayna Baszler twists Natalia's left arm and Natalia with uh, with right hands. And a hip and a hip toss, a kick by Shayna Baszler. She she lowers her right knee pad. Shayna Baszler runs towards Natalia, but Natalia grabs her leg and rolls her up. But Shayna Baszler kicks out. Natalia with a rushing leg sweep, a kick by Natalia. Right hand by Natalia, followed by a German suplex. Natalia with a clothesline. She goes for the cover, but Shayna kicks out. Natalia goes for the sharpshooter, but Shayna kicks her away. Shayna rolls to the outside of the ring. Natalia with a baseball slide. She grabs Shayna and throws her back into the ring. Natalia and Ronda Rossi are face to face. Natalia on, on the ring apron and Shayna with a knee to the face. She grabs Natalia and rolls her into the ring. Shayna with the arm bar submission and Natalia taps out. The winner of the match, Shayna Baszler. That, that part was funny when Natalia lost to Shayna Baszler. Uh, that part was funny. But that match, but this match, I didn't really care about. This was, yeah, that's all I gotta say. I didn't really care about this match. Shayna and Ronda Rousey tried to double team Natalia, but Tegan Knox attacks Ronda as Ronda and Shayna Baszler roll to the outside of the ring. Ronda asks, Ronda asks, who, who, who's that? Is she, who that is, who that is? And Shayna tells her that's Tegan Knox. Ronda Rousey calls, calls her Skittles, and that she, that she will be. T- testing and t- tasting the rainbow next week. Okay, this did so we get the Firefly Funhouse by Bray Wyatt. This was a good segment right here. The lights turn red in the in the Funhouse with the TV flickering. We get two hands playing with the vintage Undertaker action figure in the fi- in the Funhouse. We cut to Bray watching his promo from last week and laughing. That cuts to a. Clip of Lashley speaking on Raw, saying he will not be disrespected. We got to we got to Firefly Funhouse news and Bray play planned a new act. Ecker, Ecker says things are not great. He says who opened the door and laughs, and it's time for the weather. Uncle Heidi gives gives the weather, and we cut to to a game show called Can You Keep a Can You Keep a Secret. With Bray playing a game show host, Bray says, "Can you?" And it cuts to to a cuts to a still to come. We come back. We come back to the Fight Fight Funhouse with Bray repeating the word. Can you keep a secret? As dark virtual plays through the Fight Fight Funhouse door, we come. We cut to Bray wearing a mask, saying, "If I told you a story, you can can you can you keep a secret?" Now that from the eye coloring, that looks just like Bo Dallas. The, the color of his eyes, that looks just like Bo Dallas. And show start with TV mentioning that. That looks just like Bo Dallas. The but like I said, this segment that segment was good. Okay, back in the arena, Jimmy is sitting with Sol Sequoia. Paul Hammond says he go he got a text from Roman Reigns, who tells him that Roman Reigns will be on SmackDown Live next week. And he wants him to know that he will handle Jerry Uso tonight, or Roman Reigns will. 
handle Jay Uso for him next week personally. So we go to commercial break. So we get Rey Mysterio versus Karrion Cross coming by Scarlet. Why do we keep getting Rey Mysterio versus versus Karrion Cross? This, this I don't get it, man. Why we gotta get this match again? We seen this match last week. Um, but anyway, um, this was a um decent match. The bell rings and we are underway. Ray with a arc arc roll but I'll go batting hand scissor takedown. Karen calls to the outside of the ring. Ray Mysterio with a suicide dive. So we go to commercial break. Of course, of course we get a commercial break. Back from commercial, Ray on the top rope, and they sit down, sent down onto Karen Cross. Ray Mysterio runs the ropes, but Karen Cross throws him to the outside of the ring. Karen Cross grabs Ray Mysterio and throws him back into the ring. Karen Cross back in the ring, and he lifts Ray Mysterio up on his shoulders. Karen Cross climbs the second rope, but Ray Mysterio with an elbow to the face. Ray Mysterio on the top rope, and a hair corona off the top rope. He goes for the cover, but Karen Cross kicks out. Ray Mysterio t- trips Karen Cross up on the second rope. Sh- Sc- Scarlet is on the ring apron. Ray Mysterio goes for the six one nine and that slams um Sh- Scarlet into the ring. Ray Mysterio is distracted. Ray Mysterio goes for the six one nine, but Dominic Mysterio out of nowhere grabs Ray Mysterio by the legs and to and to the outside with the uh, referee distraction with distracted. Dominic Mysterio gets in Ray Mysterio's face. Ray gets Ray Mysterio gets back into the ring and Karen Cross hits him with the cross hammer and gets him to the gets him to the cross jacket and Ray Mysterio passed out. The winner of the match, Karen Cross. This was a decent match. Dominic Mysterio gets in the ring after the match. He tells Ray Mysterio to get up to hit him. He pushes Ray Mysterio and tells Ray Mysterio to hit him. Dominic Mysterio to continue continues to push Ray Mysterio. And tells him to hit him. Ray Mysterio gets in Dominic's face, and Dominic Mysterio tells him to hit him. Ray t- Ray Mysterio turns around as Dominic Mysterio grabs him. He tells Ray Mysterio to hit him. Um, Ray Mysterio kicks the bottom rope and leaves the ring. If I was if I was Ray Mysterio, I would have punched Dominic Mysterio in the face. Do, do, you Ray Mysterio, you gonna let Dominic you gonna let Dominic Mysterio disrespect you like that? If I was if I was if I was Rey Mysterio, I would have punched Dominic Mysterio in the face. I was waiting for it. So we go to commercial break. Okay, um Jimmy Uso walks down to the ring. Jimmy Uso if he's not here, he knows he is here out he, out there watching somewhere from from brother to brother. He knows he is torn. He knows he is hurt. And when Jay Uso is hurt, he is hurt. But he wants to tell him that he will always be there for him, no matter what. J- just like he needs to him to be there for him right now. Jimmy Uso says says people are saying there are crack in the bloodline. He knows there are issues. They have a they have a Sami Zayn problem, and Kevin Owens problem. They need to def- defend their tag team titles. He knows Jay U- Jay Uso has issues with the tribal chief. Um, Sami Zayn runs through the crowd wearing a black hoodie and stands behind Jimmy Uso. As Jimmy Uso turns around, Sami Zayn says he is not here to fight. He knows he wants to talk to Jay Uso, and he he will too. But right now, he need to talk to him. Every time he wears him, every time he hears him say "brother," that breaks his heart. Because that's what Jimmy Uso w- was to him. They were dogs, and he had his back in the bloodline from day one. When Jay Uso didn't trust him, he did. He was the one who made him the honorary Uso. Without Jimmy, without Jimmy, there is no honorary. Without without Sammy, there is no honorary Uso. No feeling Uso. But when things went south at the Royal Rumble. He didn't even think twice. He he took him down with zero hesitations. He tells Jimmy Uso that it hurt. Both men are standing in the ring. Jimmy tells Sami Zayn he is selfish. He wants to put the blame on Jimmy Uso, but it was Sami Zayn that that Sami Zayn that that made that choice. He plugged. He pulled the trigger. He stepped on Jimmy and Jay. 
He tells Sami Zayn that he did what he had to do. He says, family, don't betray you. Sami Zayn tells him, family doesn't make you test your loyalty every week. They didn't make you jump through hoops. They didn't try to manipulate you. That's what Roman Reigns did to his to his twin, and not for days, months, but years. We see Jay Uso standing standing in the crowd. Sami Zayn says the bloodline is not about Roman Reigns. It's about one man, and if that's and that's and if is and if the last thing he will do, he will make the, he will make the Roman 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 crumble down. Just like he told Jay Uso, he is he is telling Jimmy he doesn't have to go down with the ship. He knows Jimmy Uso knows what he is saying is true. Jimmy Uso with a right hand on Sami Zayn as Jay Uso walks down. Jimmy Uso tells Jay Uso to calm down and and Sami Zayn hits him with the Haluba kick. Jay Uso stands by the barricade and out comes Solo Sequoia as Sami Zayn leaves the ring. Sami Zayn jumps the barricade and Jay Uso is standing by the barricade as the show is as the show fades to black. Um, the ending was lame. That's all I gotta say. And uh, and Jimmy Uso did not say Jimmy Jay Uso did not even say nothing. He came down the he came down the um steps, but but Jay but um but Jay Uso didn't do nothing about it. And SmackDown went so goes off the air. But like I said before. SmackDown was a 4 out of 10. And that's all I got to say from here. But anyway, if you guys enjoyed my WWE SmackDown review on highlights, please give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below on what your thoughts on WWE SmackDown. Because SmackDown was a 4 out of 10. But anyway, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys please hit that subscribe button. Turn on post notifications to get notified when I go live on YouTube or premiere a brand new video. Follow my socials, my Instagram, TikTok, and Twitch, and Discord down below in the description. I want you guys to have a great weekend. Stay safe and always. Stay positive. Kept your crew. Kept your kings. Too sweet. I'm out of here. Gang, if I don't have nothing to do tomorrow, I might go live on YouTube. So I just want to let you guys know that if I don't have nothing to do tomorrow, I will go live on YouTube. And that's all I got to say from here. But anyway, this your boy, B Boy Fashion on TV. Have a great night. Stay safe, but always stay positive. Kept your crew. Kept your kings. Too sweet. I'm out of here. Gang.